owner. Semper offers new AC systems with a lifetime warranty and new roofs with a 50-year warranty. Thanks, we hire vets and give back to the community with our Semper Cares initiative. Go solar and declare no. independence. No doubt. Interest or payments till 2023. Get the federal 26% solar and battery Thanks, tax credit. $500 downloadable coupon. $500 off for military, first responders, and healthcare workers. Call 877 211 that's 877-211-5591. Or visit SemperSolaris.com. 26% federal tax credit based on eligibility. Consultant tax advisor cannot be combined with any other offer. Some restrictions apply. New yes. customers only. Call or see website for details. Expires 11 30 2021 CSW 9789152. There's no shortage of ways your lead Honda Superstore works to get you a super new Honda. Whether you shop in our showroom, complete your deal online, or custom order, you'll always get super prices, super selection, and a super experience. And regardless of where you lease your Honda, return it to one of our five Honda Leaf Return Super Center locations for a super upgrade experience. Plus, every new your new Honda is a protection guarantee. that injures you can really change the trajectory of your life and it happens in an instant sweet things accident attorneys know firsthand how unjust and unfair the legal system is to victims of accidents and that's why their army of winning and passionate attorneys fight for thousands of injured accident victims every day to ensure that they get the medical treatment they need get help with their car and settle the most amount of money possible you don't want to take it on alone. In fact, an independent study revealed that the average person got over three times the money with the right attorney than without. Insurance companies say they're on your side, but they're not. If you're ever hurt in an accident, call Sweet Pay at 800-500-5200, 800-500-5200, or SweetPay.com. Good veggie burger I ever had. You don't want to know the ingredients, John. It was, but it was rice and carrots and things like that all mashed up. <laughs> it's a vegetable, though. Yeah, but it doesn't taste like vegetables. I can't really describe it. John, I can. It can't be a grand mashup of vegetables and taste like meat. We gave it to. It's mushier than meat on KFI. <laughs> Yeah. 
it was in response. It was in response to a parent uh, getting into it with a boyfriend. And in the room, people didn't hear it, but there were people watching online. Oh, it's hot mic. They heard it over the hot mic. So now I don't know what happens to the president. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. The, nothing. The, nothing. the board. The board turns around and they vote a "Gee, you shouldn't do that" uh, resolution, and that's it. All right, Hazard Independent High School in Perry County, Kentucky. Uh, got a little spicy there. So apparently it was supposed to be just some homecoming activities, and there were some students who thought it would be funny to do lap dances on their teachers. This was both male and female. Yeah, this never happened in high school when I was... <laughs> Why not? You know, my high school was so boring. Now, that'll get a, that'll get a couple of teachers and students in trouble. Well, and the ki here's the thing, though. If the kids start it, if the kids go up to the teachers and they are fooling around and it's on social media and it's all just part of a homecoming, I don't know, prank or skit or whatever, is it really the teacher's fault, especially if they weren't, like, into it? If they were just sitting there and the kid came over and they just sort of laughed and, and didn't touch the kid. Yeah, I mean, you're giving you, like, portraying a situation where the teachers are oh shock and only happen for a second. I could, but my guess is, and I'm just speculating, I have no idea. I'll bet you the teachers were grinning and having the time of their life. <laughs> Disciplinary actions have been taken. Now, is that against the teachers or the students? Or uh, both? Both. I, I don't know. I think both. I think both. Right. the teachers are going to get nailed. Oh, so here is uh, a story. Yeah. Well, uh, home invasion robbery in the valley. Oh, yeah. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Star Dor and I don't even know if this is how you pronounce the first Dory. Dory. Dory or Dory? Yeah, I think it's Dory. 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 Says uh, three people wearing dark hoodies broke into the house in the late, late evening and got expensive handbags and jewelry and watches and got matched through a window. And there you go. And they're going to get away with it because there's no video. It, uh, they were in hoodies. Uh, Her kids were asleep in the house yeah, at the time. Fled the scene in the black shirt. Yeah. Here's what you hope. And I'm not accusing her of this at all. I'm hoping because this is way less upset that this is fake and that it's some kind of an insurance thing that she's running. Again, it's not what I think yeah, is happening. Yeah, why don't you straight out accuse her of this? I'm not accusing her at all. I'm saying I would rather find out later yeah. that right. this is all a lie. She no. backed the window and set it for some insurance thing rather than to have, because I'd rather think about people ripping off insurance companies than think about people coming into your house and stealing your stuff like that. Right. Right. By the way, to Doreen, and I'm saying I don't believe that's what yeah. happened. Doreen, uh, your attorney can serve Wayne at 3400 oh, yeah. West Olive Avenue in Burbank. Yeah, you don't understand uh, what an assertion of fact is, because this ain't one of them. Okay. Her <laughs> husband, um, one of the reasons I think in the beginning that she was cast on that show or whatever, her husband represents Boy George. Oh. Oh. He's in the music world, and that was his big client. Oh. And so, yeah. That's karma. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Ain't no song. Okay, let's move on. I'm sorry you went there. Uh, let's see. Do we want to do end on a fun one? Sure. Um, oh, Wayne, how about we end with virgin birth? Okay, well, science has proven that California condors can have virgin birth. That's researchers, that's at the, <laughs> researchers at the San Diego Zoo Wildlife Alliance said they know this because there were two male condor chicks that hatched, one in 2001, one in 2009, from unfertilized eggs, and the genetic testing confirmed they were related to their mothers, but neither of them was related to a dude, therefore virgin birth, although science has a less... Um, Spiritual explanation, they just call it a sexual reproduction. Yeah, no, it does happen. I mean, it does happen. There are species that do that, uh, and uh, there's uh, no question about it. It can be done, although uh, in birds, very rare, and in condors, uh, it's never been. you ever seen a California condor? Oh, okay. yeah. I mean, they're magnificent. I mean, they're the ugliest bird on the planet, but they're so oh, ugly, man. they're beautiful. And yeah. their wingspan is six feet. Yes, yeah, exactly. I mean, they are that enormous. Wingspan. And yet, none of them get into boxing. 
Mm -hmm. That reach. Oh, got it. All right. That almost worked. Uh, and you know, there were under, oh, I think there were, at, at one point, there were under 30 that existed on the planet, and there was a program uh, to bring them back uh, in Northern California, and now there are several hundred. They're still very, very rare. And then they release them in the wild, uh, and they, uh, they, leave the, they leave the refuge, and then immediately hit a power pole. No! Oh, oh, man. man. That's how they oh. die! That's how they die! That's man was a nice science story, and now it's grim and depressing. And unfortunately, it's true. I think we're... I, hey, Mr. Optimist, I always want to put oh, yeah. a positive spin on everything. I think it's time to vote on uh, this Friday. Well, it's time to end this segment. Uh, coming up, uh, Facebook and its meta problems. We'll be back with that. KFI AM 640 Live, everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Over the years, I've seen a lot of weird stuff cleaning up the radio station at night. Like this one time, I found a creepy doll, threw it in the dumpster, and then next corner I turned, there it is. I don't know, I think it was just lonely. I took it home. Looking for the robbers. I'm Jennifer Jones Lee, live from the KFI 24 hour newsroom. As we were talking about, the LAPD is looking for three people accused of breaking into and robbing the home of one of the real housewives of Beverly Hills. Police say the three broke into Dorit Hemsley's home in Encino Wednesday night and forced her at gunpoint to direct them to her valuable handbags, jewelry, and watches. Kemsley and her kids, who were also home at the time of the robbery, were not hurt. News is brought to you by Dennis Dillon RV. Terminal 1 at LAX is operating as usual this morning following a possible shooter scare that closed it. LAX police say about 7.30 last night, two guys had an argument outside the terminal, and one ran inside shouting he was being chased by someone with a gun. There was never an active shooter, no shooting, no weapons, just uh, people getting upset with each other and one silly thing threatened. Spokeswoman Lieutenant Carla Rodriguez says several hundred people ran out of the terminal and onto the tarmac. Two people were hurt during the panic. Flights were grounded for about an hour. Criminal charges have been filed against the owners of a low-income senior living apartment building in Chinatown for allegedly not fixing their elevators despite being ordered to. L.A. City Attorney Mike Hewer says for elderly people, not having an elevator in a 16-story building makes it hard for a person to leave their apartment. The last thing any grandparent needs right now is to be stuck in their apartment because the elevator doesn't work and there's no way for them to get out. Hewer says the building's owners have also not kept up the elevators up to date with the city's fire standards. A state Senate committee is investigating the timeline of the oil spill in O.C. in the future of offshore drilling. At some point we have to ask, is offshore drilling worth it? Senator Dave Min says less than 0.3 percent of the annual oil production in the U.S. is extracted off the coast of California. That's not even a drop in the bucket, and yet we continually face this threat of oil spills uh, as the infrastructure is aging. Huntington Beach Mayor Kim Carr testified yesterday the city's tourist reputation took a hit. I don't think that we're going to fully see the full economic impact of all of this for quite some time. She says fortunately local businesses that were hammered by losses can now apply for federal disaster loans. In Orange County, Corbin Carson, KFI News. Some organizers of the failed L.A. County DA George Gascon recall say they're already raising money for another recall campaign. Recall chair Desiree Andrade said Gascon wouldn't be in office if voters had known the truth about his policy. Which was, you know, eliminating special circumstance charges, letting out child abusers, child molesters, rapists. These are major crimes. And allowing them to get out with very little consequences. She says this time the campaign will be bipartisan, better organized, and better funded. Gascon's campaign says the recent recall fails uh, that proves voters just want officials to do the job they were elected to do. President Biden has arrived in Rome without the legislative win he wanted ahead of his trip. Before his flight, the president visited Capitol Hill to push Democrats on a deal that would at least get the infrastructure bill through Congress. But House Progressive refused to allow a vote on infrastructure until Senate Democrats also passed the budget. There are a handful of key items that are out that are, uh, you know, really enraging a lot of, I would say, the progressive base, the President Biden's base. And, and the chief among them is paid family and medical leave. 
That's ABC's Chris Turner. House Speaker Pelosi says the spending bill represents President Biden's vision for the U.S. It's a, a, an initiative that, that uh, gives big tax cuts to the middle class, creates jobs, good paying jobs, lowers costs for families, and while making the wealthiest and big corporations pay their fair share. Pelosi says she's pushing for a vote to advance the bill. Let's look at your drive on the 605. All right, going to you if you are north on the 605 now, around the 5, and you see all those brake lights ahead of you. A little good news. Uh, the problem was in industry, north 605, past the 60 before Valley. I have the freeway was shut down. It's two right lanes blocked, so somebody hurt. But all lanes have reopened, and it only happened about you know, three, three and a half minutes ago. So it's really back up from around Beverly Boulevard. But hang in there. You'll want to start moving once you get around the 60. Carpool lane, by the way, whoo, huge. It's, it's really full speed all the way up. Uh, southbound, uh, it's just morning drive slow coming down from about Washington Boulevard. I want to remind you, if you just joined us, a big problem going to Westminster, West 22, all traffic plus exit, police activity at Golden West. It's been going on since free morning. A huge time delay. They'll be over just a few minutes giving an update, but you can tell if that'll get you around the problem. Injured in an accident, visit superwoman, superlawyer.com, Jeff Bond, A F I in the sky. The World Series resumes with Game 3 in Atlanta. The Houston Astros and Atlanta Braves are tied at a game each. First pitch at 5.09 this afternoon Pacific time. The Braves are starting Ian Anderson. Houston's going with Luis Garcia. Coming off a road loss to the Thunder, the Lakers are back home to host the Cleveland Cavaliers at 7.30. Coach Frank Vogel seems to have forgiven Russell Westbrook for that whole L.A. Oklahoma 10 turnovers getting kicked out of the game for throwing a temper tantrum thing. The guy competes the tail off. It's a tough finish for our whole group, but to come in and have 10 assists in a, in a, in a half in an NBA game, it's remarkable. You know, I applaud his effort, but our group as a whole, we didn't get the job done, so i look for the next game. The Clippers are at the Portland Trailblazers at 7, live on AM 570 LA Sports. I'm Wayne Resnick, KFI Sports. If you're looking to move out of your house, selling it, uh, let's say you are moving out of town or downsizing or financial issues, you need the money, or you inherit your uh, a piece of property, what do you do? Well, yeah, the first thing comes to mind, you get a real estate agent, you list it, uh, 6%, and then you clean, you paint, you repair, and then the prospective buyers come through your house, including a looky looky lose, and you've got to be out. So how about doing it? How about buying? How about selling it without any of that hassle? No appraisal, no commission, no six percent, no fees, and you get paid in cash and fast within ten days or less. This is directbuyers.com. This is a company that'll do that, and I'll tell you why they do it a little bit differently, a lot differently. They give you an honest, no obligation offer, up to $15,000 cash advance before closing. They help with your move, and they will never, ever lowball you. And in this industry, that happens a lot. Not with Matt and Janet, who own uh, directbuyers.com, brother and sister. Go to directbuyers.com, directbuyers.com, call 844-242-SELL, 844-242-SELL, directbuyers.com. Ready to trade in your old car? Then download the Roto app. That's R-O-D-O. -O. Roto will buy your car and give you the cash you need to buy your next car today. You don't even need to leave your house. It's all done online. Roto will even deliver your new car and take your old car away free of charge. So what are you waiting for? Download the Roto app now or check out Roto.com. That's R-O-D-O. -O, the fastest and easiest way to sell your car. Your KFI Financial Report is brought to you by Bay Alarm. The Dow is up 4, S&P down 10, NASDAQ down 63, and the average price of a gallon of unleaded gas in California is $4.59. With a range of commercial fire and security solutions, Bay Alarm can protect it all with just one call. Mostly sunny today has a range from the low to mid 70s for the beaches, Metro LA, and Orange County. Just the mid to upper 80s for the valleys in the IE will keep cooling it down as we head toward Halloween. And by Sunday, highs will just be in the 60s and 70s. Right now, it's 65 in Rancho Santa Margarita, 66 in Brea, 58 in Downey, 63 in Pacoima. We leave local. Live from the KFI 24 hour newsroom, I'm Jennifer Jones Lee.
October 29th. Halloween is on uh, Sunday. I got a great, well, I don't know if I have a great Halloween story. I have an interesting Halloween story at 9.50 this morning. And it has to do with uh, Freddy Krueger and Jason. And uh, it's not where you think it's going to go. Facebook uh, is now uh, a division of uh, a company called Meta. M-E-T-A, Meta. And uh, that's short for the Meta Universe, which is the world of the Internet. And uh, Mark uh, Zuckerberg uh, announced this. And a couple things I want to point out. One of them seems, uh, come on, really? Uh, isn't this a little bit coincidental? And the other aspect of this story is it makes a lot of sense. So first of all, let's talk about why it makes sense. You think of Facebook as a product or a service, Facebook, uh, as both a company and as what it does. Well, Facebook is much more than that. It owns Instagram, it will, owns WhatsApp, and it keeps on Oculus, I think it owns. And so, and it keeps on expanding because it has more money than you could ever imagine. And it just writes these checks for companies. And I'm talking about companies in the billions of dollars that they're buying. So they're not, uh, Instagram is not Facebook. It is owned by Facebook. So what the company did, much like Google did with Alphabet, is saying Google is just one of the services. Because Waze is another service uh, that uh, Google has. By the way, Google has both of the big, uh, the uh, big GPS services, both Google Maps and uh, Waze. When in doubt, buy your competitors and go ahead and just take over the entire market. Wow, really? Uh, Microsoft doesn't do that. And certainly Google doesn't do that. And certainly uh, Facebook doesn't do that. Well, so what uh, Zuckerberg is saying is we're going to change the name, the big parent company, into Meta. All right, makes sense. Makes sense. Now, on the other hand, uh, the argument is look at the timing. Wow. Here is the timing uh, based on the fact that simply the name Facebook conjures all kinds of negative uh, feelings. Uh, negative connotation. Why? Because you've got a company that has been accused of lying. You have a company that's been accused of hiding its own research, a la the uh, big tobacco companies uh, back in the 60s. You have a company that is uh, misrepresenting uh, itself and is accused of damaging teens, particularly young girls, tweens, uh, increasing the body shaming aspect. And you have a company that's accused of uh, form, uh, promulgating hate speech and, for example, accused of increasing the risk, increasing the number of people who showed up January 6th. And why is that? Well, because if it bleeds, it leads. They need engagement. That's what Facebook is about. Facebook is about the largest number of people staying on that platform for the longest period of time. And people who engage in hate just spend a lot more time. They're going back and forth. Uh, there's, uh, it's the conspiracy world, and a lot of it, most of it is on Facebook. So they have to get away from that, and they're not. The other situation is that because of that, and because of the way Facebook uh, has testified in front of Congress, both Senate and Congress, uh, our congressional leaders, chairmen of the various committees, members of the various committees on both sides of the aisle, hate Mark Zuckerberg. It has gotten to be a personal hatred to the point where there are a lot of senators and Congress people won't even talk to the lobbyists. Don't even bother showing up. Want to make an appointment to see you, senators? Don't bother. You're Facebook. So the lobbyists are stuck. Let's say they're called before, or Facebook executives are called before a Senate or a Congress uh, committee or subcommittee hearing. And no one believes them. And it's right there. Mr. Zuckerberg, we don't believe you. We think you're lying. You have no credibility. I mean, that's both sides. So Facebook at this point is in a world of hurt, although, you know, when you have more money than the U.S. government has, and you're certainly not running out of deficit, 
eh, you know, what are you going to do? Well, what may happen is uh, there are going to be laws passed that limit the power, uh, limit the scope of Facebook and other platforms. Europe, they're doing that like crazy. And hitting up these com uh, companies with billion-dollar fines. That's already happened in Europe, where the, uh, the ability of these platforms to function the way they do here has been restricted a lot. They're just a lot stricter over there. And uh, you, we may see some big changes. So those are the two big stories of Facebook. One, new name, and two, God, everybody hates them. Particularly, particularly legislators, legislators. All right, the president has a framework uh, with the Senate and Congress, the Build Back Better spending package, and uh, what's in it, what he got, what he didn't get, and uh, the compromises that had to be made. We'll be right back with that. This is KFI AM640 and your chance to win $1,000 when we come back. All right, Jennifer Jones, Lee. Well, the armor on this set of dress to where Alex Baldwin accidentally shot the joke center photographer Helena Hudson says she has no idea where the live rounds came from. The lawyer for Hannah Gutierrez Reed says his client is devastated over the shooting. It'll most likely cost you four figures if you want last minute World Series tickets. Prices on the secondary market overnight started at $1,000, but if you want a premium seat, those go for over $10,000. And Metallica is teaching a master class on how to be a rock band. The members of the band will teach what they've learned from their decades of experience, including lessons on forming a band, writing songs, and navigating eBay. We've got a look at the route with DJ Fire in the Sky and a 22 next. With mortgage rates being nearly the lowest in history, it's impossible not to hear and see ads everywhere wanting you to refi. It can be confusing at best. That's why the team of True Mortgage is urging you to shop around and ask any potential lender the toughest questions. Then, give True Mortgage a call, 83366 faster, and ask those same questions point blank. Whether you're looking to refinance or take advantage of the equity in your home to pay off high interest rates, credit cards, and loans, True Mortgage Loan Consultants will give it to you straight. If you're paying anything over two and a half percent on your mortgage, shop the market, and then call for mortgage loan. Yeah, you heard that line. Call them last. See what others can do for you, then see if she can beat it. That is confident. They put their money where your mortgage is. Stop around and get two mortgage to call. 833-66-FASTER or log on to truenow.com. 833-66-FASTER. Talk to a professional. They'll help you navigate all the noise and pick what's right for you. 833-66-FASTER or dial pound 250. Keyword, true mortgage. Let's get an update on the 22. All well, right, good morning now. So this uh, is a big deal that's been going on since pre-dawn. Going to West Street Store, trying to go to the The West on 22, the Garden Store, uh, Grocery Road. All traffic happening here at Golden West. The time delays are off the charts. We spent so much time trying to do this. It stopped the crookers and it's getting worse as I speak to you. Uh, McKellen, north of the 22, that's still a fair.